Good morning everybody, today we are in Lahore, we're going to go around the town, eat some food, the tali we had yesterday was fantastic, so hopefully more of the same today, we're going to have a good time. And we are wearing curtains, so comfortable in this heat, it's like 33 degrees today, but anyway, onwards, just nearly. Alright, so I don't really know what this is. I think it's a seat part of that Shahi Mosque. If you're a foreigner visiting here, you have to bring your passport. We didn't have our passport on us, but he recognized the voice, obviously. So he was like, yeah, fine, go ahead. You get a guide as well. I'm not really sure how it works. So you'll learn with us as we go along. But this is a seat part of that Shahi Mosque. Beautiful. Wash your feet before you go in. So before you enter the temple, you need to wash your feet and then put a hat on. They'll even provide one for you. If you have one, it's fine as long as your head's covered. I had to go into a seat temple. They smell that. See, you can see the book has its own bed. It's pretty cool. How cool is that? They treat the book as if it's alive. So it has its own room with its own bed, with its own heater and with its own AC. So the room temperature is always controlled. They take it out during the day, cover it with a blanket, have a little room over it so nothing gets inside um, and then they put the they put the book away you can actually open up a locker and there's mini versions of the same book so if you are coming here to pray and you are Sikh you can still pray without an imam being present that's really really cool These are the eyes, wherever you move, they will follow you. Oh wow, that's just creepy. Okay, Natalie is outside a Sikh temple. How do you say, my love? Gudwara. Gudwara. Oh wow, mashallah. Wow, you can really tell remnants of Sikhism, Buddhism in Pakistan. See that gold looking dome over there? Apparently that's not actual real gold. What it was, the fable is, there was soil put on and then it turned gold. Nobody knows how or why. Fascinating story. So we are inside where Sikhs believe the fifth guru Drowned close to here. This is where his spirit resides. A little bit unsettling. And you can hear music. They believe his spirit resides here, which is why they have the AC and the fan on uh, during the summer and they have a heater on in winter, so very similar to the book. And they have this lovely music playing. Yeah. Wow. So these are images. Here you have Guru Nanak and here you have the ten Gurus. People have removed the faces. I don't know why, I think that's wrong. That's definitely not what the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him would have advocated. Pakistan is very, very tolerant of um, all religions as everywhere should be. 
to be fair, apart from our obviously upon him, thought that as well. Uh, he genuinely believed that everyone should believe in whatever they wanted to believe. This candle here is lit 24 7. And whoever does it seems to like Mountain Dew. Also, if someone believes they are possessed or they sort of feel negative energy around them, they can come here and they, they do something to remove that negative energy from their body. Um, Sikhism is quite cool, to be fair. I haven't known about Sikhism for over 20 years, but I thought it was really cool because, you know, they have daggers and they're not allowed to cut their hair. I mean, they're like, they're born warriors. Like my nan actually grew up in Amritsar, which is very, very Sikh orientated. So we do want to head over there at one point. But yeah, Sikhism. I mean, really Sikhism, cool. Buddhism, all this stuff in Pakistan. I mean, apart from the, the faces being erased, we haven't seen any sort of negative energy towards towards any other religions, which is what Prophet Muhammad peace upon him advocated. And just behind me, there's a really cool little water filter. Well, it's not a water filter, you can't drink the water, but it's ice cold, so it's really refreshing over your face. One last thing about the eradicating of negative spirits, what they do is they wash the temple every day where the fifth guru spirit resides. And with that water, they believe that's now holy water. So they uh, take that and they sprinkle it onto people and that removes the negative energy. I think that's a hella cool process. <laughs> Very efficient, I might add. Environmentally friendly as well. All right, now we're just gonna find some water filter so we can drink and then we're gonna go to Bad Shahi Mosque. So looking forward to seeing this mosque. We were very fortunate to take a look at that guard while um, only foreigners are allowed. So they overlooked that we didn't actually have our passports with us, but they were pretty nice about it. And we gave the guy a nice tip as well for showing us around. So here we go, at Shahi Mosque. Well, that was an easy security thing. Okay. No one checked. It's quite strange doing this with loads of people looking at you, but hey, that's what it's all about. Those were the old stairs that you used to enter the gate, I felt. <laughs> At least you tripped. <laughs> <laughs> 